When a Jewish boy turns three years old, this is an important moment, and they get their first pair of tzitzis. And usually these tzitzis are, are, are designed in a cute way for a three-year-old. They have like an olive paste train on them or something like that. And they, they look nice and they fit him well. Now, when he turns four years old and he grows and he turns five years old and he's growing more and more, he needs a new pair of tzitzis. If he's still wearing the same pair of tzitzis, they're going to become pretty small on him. Now, if he's still wearing those tzitzis at six, seven years old, they're definitely going to be small. Maybe somehow they'll still fit somewhat. But by the time this boy is 10, 15, 20, if he's still wearing the same pair of tzitzis, of course we know, those tzitzis are going to be choking him. And this is a really important mashal for us in thinking not just about the physical garment of tzitzis that we wear, but all the ways in which we engage our lives, the way that we engage Yiddishkeit, Talmud Torah, Tfila, Ruchnius, our conceptions of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our relationship with other people, our understandings of ourselves. If we're operating and living with the same orientations and the same experiences and the same ways of processing all these different things that we did five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, they're going to become infantile for us. They're going to hold us back. We're going to experience them sometimes, not only as obsolete or irrelevant, but sometimes even a choking hazard. We need to constantly engage in refreshing our sense of curiosity, our, our sense of wonder about how we relate to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, how we relate to other people and to ourselves. And this is exactly what Rav Levi Yitzchak talks about in a beautiful piece where he explains the statement in Tana de Beilio, the Mamar Chazal, which says, Kol hashona halachos b'chol yom, muftach lo shehu ben olam haba. Any person who learns halachos every single day, they are promised that they are going to merit olam haba. And if Levi Yitzchak says, there's another deep meaning hinted at in these words, because the word shona can also be read as in a similar word, like the word shinoi or mishane, to change. And so Rebbe Yitzchak reads, the, reads this Maimar in, in the following way. Kol hashone, kol hamishane, halichosav. Any person who changes the way that they walk in this world, b'chol yom every day, muftoch lo shuhu ben olam haba. They are a person who will merit olam haba. If a person engages in a constant experience of renewal, they develop, they evolve over time, they experience and engage life as a journey. Not something that's static, but something that is moving, something that's flowing. There's new ways of, of trying different things and trying to refresh the way that we experience this world. That is the person who is a Ben Olam Haba. And this is a beautiful and really important teaching for all of us. But I think that if you think about it, it really raises an important question. Because while that's all true and inspiring and important, I think that we all probably know somebody, if not multiple people in our lives, who are the type of person that's always looking for the next thrill, the next big fix, the next thing that's going to be different. And they're always looking for change. It's the people who have a difficult time maintaining a steady relationship because well, it's good and it's exciting, but then they need something new that's exciting. They always need something new or they, may, they have a difficult time maintaining a career or religious commitments or whatever it is in, in pursuing something. They're always looking for that next thing and what they have now doesn't maintain consistency. And so how does, how does that make sense with what we were just talking about with what Levi Yitzchak's teaching us? And I think here lies a tremendous yisod an important paradox in what Rav Levi Yitzchak's teaching. Because Rav Levi Yitzchak points out the play on words of shone to shinoi, to change. But interestingly, there's another word that's very similar to those two words of shone and shinoi, which is yashan, old. Shinoi, change, new, is related to the word yashan, of old. And this is exactly the point, because if you think about the young boy and his tzitzis, when he turns five, he needs a new pair of tzitzis. When he turns 10, he needs a new pair of tzitzis. And 20 and 30 and 40, he needs a new pair of tzitzis. But it's always a pair of tzitzis. It's just a different size. It fits him differently. He experiences it differently, but it's the same thing at its core. And this is the paradox of how to live life that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants from us. It's the journey of looking for new depths, new angles, new perspectives 
but of the same essential matter. As Chazal say, hafochba, hafochba, dekulaba. It's all in there. Just keep turning it around. It's not try something. It's turn it over and then turn it over again and notice it from another angle and another angle, but continually turning over the same essential matter.